Hi, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to cover the C-peptide blood test. This is a blood test which helps to monitor the production of an important hormone called insulin, which is made in the beta cells of the pancreas. In today's video, we're going to cover three important things. First of all, what C-peptide is, secondly, why the test is done, and thirdly, what the results means. But before we get into the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So first of all, what is C-peptide? Well, C-peptide and the hormone insulin are created from a larger molecule called pro-insulin, and this is stored in the beta cells of the pancreas. When insulin is released into the bloodstream to help transport glucose into the body cells to be used for energy, equal amounts of C-peptide are also released. So this makes C-peptide a really useful marker as part of the insulin production process. And in some cases, it's actually better than insulin because it's more stable in the blood. So now we know a little bit more about C-peptide, why is it requested as part of an investigation? Well, C-peptide may be requested if you've got newly diagnosed diabetes in order to see how much insulin your beta cells are making and to help differentiate the type of diabetes. It can also be used by your doctor or health professional as a monitoring test to see how you're doing over a period of time and to determine if or when insulin injections might be required. C-peptide may also be measured when there's a sudden or recurring low blood sugar. This is known as hypoglycemia, and this is to help determine the source of excess insulin, i.e. whether it's being produced in your body or if it's coming from excessive injection of insulin. Finally, if you've had your pancreas removed or you're one of the few patients to have had a pancreas transplant, your C-peptide concentration can be monitored to verify the effectiveness of treatment and the continued success of the procedure. Finally, what does the result mean? Well, in simple terms, high concentrations of C-peptide within the bloodstream generally indicate high concentrations of insulin. This might be due to excessive insulin production by the body or insulin resistance. High concentrations of C-peptide are also seen with something called an insulinoma. That's essentially a tumor of the pancreas that causes excess insulin to be produced. It can also be seen in other disorders such as hypokalemia, where you've got low blood potassium, as well as pregnancy, Cushing syndrome, and kidney disease. On the other hand, low concentrations of C-peptide are seen when insufficient insulin is being produced by the beta cells or when production is being suppressed by injected insulin. I hope the video was helpful and informative, and if you did find it useful, please remember to like it and leave a comment in the comments section below. I do try to respond to all comments where possible. However, please remember this is an education platform and I can't give individual medical advice. I've also included some useful extra reading links in the description box of the video. So please do check those out if you've got time. And if you've got any concerns about your health or you're unsure about what your blood results mean, then please do see your own doctor or consult your own healthcare provider. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye.